okay now time to create the email verification api so to verify email we need two endpoint one endpoint to send the verification email and another one to verify the email so using the link that we sent in email that link will verify the user so let's go ahead and do that let's go first go to api.php and let's create the first endpoint to send the verification email and we create email verification controller so i've created this controller and i've created this method and this method is protected by auth sanctum middleware so here we have email verification and first method send verification email which will just check if it is already validated in if so just sending the message and if not we are sending the send email verification notification from here and then we are sending the status verification link sent the message okay so this is all we need to do this step so one more thing uh, in order to call this and do all step let's go to user so laravel has all these default methods for doing all verification password link we are just uh, using that to create our api endpoint so this must implements uh, the must must verify email this contract okay that's all you need to do and here it will send so uh, this is a normal workflow but if you need to configure this email like we did for forgot password or password reset email you need to go to the auth service provider so to configure this email it is a bit easier than forgot password so just uh, write this method verify email to email using then this will Laravel will supply us notifiable which will be the user object and then it will supply us url url for verifying email and we can just configure our current our url to our front end client and there we'll pass the url that laravel supplies in the query as a query parameter and we can just redirect we can in our front end client we'll just redirect our user or we'll send a request to this url so this url will need to handle next so in order to send email you can configure like so and same thing it will do all this you can configure this like notification so it is a bit easier um, again you can find this these information in laravel documentation just search for verification email or verification user verification just search through documentation and you'll get to know all these okay that's it uh, so now let's go ahead and send the request email verification notification just send request to email let's verify if that is the correct endpoint yeah email slash notification so here we don't need to pass anything as a body but since this is a middleware protected we need to pass the barrier token so user need to be authenticated in order to send requests again you can pass bearer token from here or just authorization header bearer token so i'm supplying this token uh, i think i have to get the latest token this is the old token that i was experimenting with copy it go to email verification send it Okay, it is saying unauthenticated. We need to log in once more. Log in. Okay, we got the updated token. Okay. In order to send that you need to have this verification verify route which we have defined but i have commented that so you need to define this route as well before and because 
uh, that email will send this URL right so just define this URL and verify this again is authenticated route name just don't forget to supply verification dot verify name and that's it so now if you send again it will work okay so verification link sent let's go ahead and check our email here we go verify email address and then we get our custom URL like so and this verify URL this is the URL that live will generate it with all the token and signature and whenever we hit this endpoint it will redirect us to the front-end client uh, from where we are consuming this API and from there we need to send the post request to this URL all right so let's go ahead and click right now we have no front-end implementation we'll do it in later video right now we are just focusing on API part so this uh, we can mimic using our sanctum so in sanctum just go ahead and put this URL here send the get request uh, again we need to have a valid bearer token for requesting this endpoint there we go I think yeah so now let's go ahead and send so before uh, verifying this user let's check if uh, we can access this route so right now we can access some protected route there we go and here I will do one more thing I will just put another middleware verified this is supplied by Laravel so only user who have email verified can access this endpoint since I have implemented this middleware now let's go ahead and try to access again So your email address is not verified so only verified email address user can access this route so let's go ahead and verify so this is the route or this is the link we get from our email now let's send all right so email has been verified now let's once again let's try to access the protected route Previously, it was saying email not verified. Now we can access our endpoint. Also, we get this email verified at field field. This is the current date time. All right, so this is how we handle email verification. I'll put this code on GitHub. You can study this and you can implement it in your own API. All right, so I'll see you on another video. Bye.